Hi guys, welcome back to my video where I solve Python uh, interview questions. So I just finished recording this video several minutes ago, but after recording, I realized that uh, my phone was really close to my the microphone very the whole throughout the whole video, and there would be a lot of uh, background noise. So I'll have to redo the whole thing. Gladly. Uh, I've already solved the question, so it should go a lot quicker than my initial attempt. My initial attempt took me 20 minutes. We'll see if it uh, takes me fewer this time. I won't pretend that I don't know what the exercise is going to be about, but uh, I'll still take my time explaining my thought process with it. So let's go back to the question. We go to coding questions. We go to, um, let me remember which company this was. Um, I think it was Apple. Apple. Yes, as you can see, I've already solved it. So as I said, I won't pretend I haven't done that just right now. All right. So let's jump into the question. Find the number of Apple products users and the number of total users with a device and group the accounts by language. This was really confusing for me at first, but uh, I'll try to rephrase it as, as to how I really understood that. Assume Apple products are only MacBook Pro, iPhone 5S, and iPad Air. I'll put the language along with the total number of Apple users and users with any device. Order your results based on the number of total users in descending order. Okay, so what we have is two data frames. One is, <clears throat> one is playbook events, the other is playbook users. Uh, in this playbook events, data frame, uh, we have the user IDs, and we have what devices those users were using. Now, there might be uh, duplicate user IDs, and in some cases, the same user might be using two different devices. And in some very rare cases, the same user might actually be using one device that is an Apple device and one device that isn't an Apple device. So that got me confused the first time when I was trying to solve this. So. Now that we know that this is actually an, an option that might occur, we will address that. And the other data frame, it has just the log of all users. So it has the user ID, a lot of noise information, and only we are going to use the language. So what language is that user using? So what we need to do is we need to see for each language how many uh, you, their users are in total and how many users uh, are using Apple devices. That's all we need to do. Language, total users, Apple users. So naturally, we'll need to merge both of these data frames. So let's do exactly that right now. But merge. Um, we're merging with playbook users. We're merging on user ID. Uh, and we are specifying that we need a left join. Why we do that? Because uh, by default, the merge function does an inner join, and we really don't need that because, um, well, in this case, it might be uh, it might be okay because every user that is here, he's definitely going to be here, but not every user that is here because it's the whole logbook of all possible users might be here. But since we're joining on this one, this is the master data frame that we're joining on, it wouldn't make a difference. But just as a per personal hygiene thing, I always specify the method of joining. So just, uh, just to be sure. If we run code, we have a lot of columns, and we'll definitely only need very few of these. So we definitely use the uh, need the user ID. We definitely need the device so that we can actually see if it's one of these uh, three specified devices, MacBook Pro, iPhone 5S, or iPad Air. So we specify device. And finally, we specify the language. That's all we really need. Yeah. The next thing I want to do is I want to see as I want to create a new column that will display whether a device is an app, Apple device or not. 
And the tricky part here is that not every iPhone 5 is an Apple device. Uh, if we read the actual task, we need to assume that Apple products are only MacBook Pro, iPhone 5S, and iPad Air. So let's address that. We write a new column. Let's call it is Apple. And it is equal to the F device. We will apply a lambda function. And this lambda function simply checks since we are going to return a Boolean value, either true or false, we simply need to specify that x is in uh, a list. And our list contains uh, these devices that are listed here. MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, then uh, iPhone 5S. Don't forget the S because I made that mistake when I was solving this for the first time. And then iPad Air. Just to be sure that uh, we're correct with these values, we're going to use the exit lower function so that we know for a fact that we're returning a uh, lowercase mm, result when we're looking at these x values. But all of them are uh, in the same format, so this is also a just a hygiene thing. Personal preference, if you may. Then let's see if this works. It does. So if we look at this, it returns false for, for iPhone 5, which what the task asked for. MacBook Pro true, and everything else should be working as expected. Now, what I want to do is I want to count how many total com uh, language and uh, Apple devices we have. So how many English Apple device users were there in this whole data frame? To do that, I'm going to create a separate data frame called Apple. Uh, is DF, where DF uh, is Apple. And that's it. Since uh, this is uh, a Boolean value right here, then this should just return the, the ones that are true. We run the code. Yeah. Next thing I want to do is I want to remove all, all duplicates. As we can see, for example, right here, the same user had three instances uh, of events here. So we don't want to count those. We want to have count them separately. So we write down apple equals apple drop duplicates from user ID. And now the final thing we want to do is we just want to return the uh, language and the total count of how many users uh, are using Apple products. So to do that, we are going to use the group by method. Group by, group by two things. The first one is language. Uh, wait, or are we only, no, we only need to group by, by language and that's it. Group by language, mm, we specify as index false since uh, we want this as a separate column. Then we write, doesn't matter what, let's say device and then count to see if this works. Okay, so this is what we get. For example, uh, there are 11 Apple device users that are using the English language. And there are two Japanese language Apple users and so on. Next, since we have the whole total information in our original data frame DF, we are just simply going to do the exact same thing, this time with DF. DF. And here as well, Apple turns into DF, Apple turns into DF, run, yeah. Now, uh, since we have these two data frames, one for the total, one for apples, we, once again, simply need to join them. So we do DF equals DF.merge, merge it with Apple, 
merge it on the language. This time we must specify uh, that it is a left join because if we wouldn't, there are some values in total. For example, Arabic has zero uh, values uh, for Apple. There are no Apple users in Arabic. So if we would have left inner join, Arabic wouldn't even appear here. So that would be a mistake. That's why we're using left join this time. Mm. And then since we're using the same two columns, which is named device, we can specify the suffixes. Suffixes equals, uh, I think this should be a list. First one will be, since the first one is DF, then it will be called total. And the second one is called apple. All right, let's see how this looks. It's almost good because some, as I said, some of the, the Apple device users uh, have zero values here. So these aren't represented as zeros. These are, these are represented as uh, NANs. So we simply need to fill NA with zeros. Fantastic. Coming back to our exercise, the final thing we need to do is to order your results based on the number of total users in descending order. So df sort values we're sorting on device total ending equals false perfect let's try to run this voila just like that as i said guys i won't pretend that i haven't sold this uh, half an hour ago uh since I had some technical issues, uh, I had to re-record this whole thing. That is, this is why it went so smooth. So a couple of notes I want to make here is uh, the, the biggest mistakes that I made in my first attempt, and uh, I avoided them this time, is that the first time I did the drop duplicates right here. And since there were some situations where there is a single user that has two devices, one of those devices is an Apple device, and the other one is not an Apple device. Uh, and since a non-Apple device came in first, and it was the higher row, it deleted the Apple device instance. So it wasn't counted correctly. This is why first thing we do is we ca count, and this is that we categorize our devices on whether they're Apple device or no. And only then we drop the duplicates from our separate data frames. This is why we don't lose the information. Hope that makes sense because that took me the longest to figure out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.